Hey peeps, this is Mango, welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you how to build the seamless elevator that I showcased before. So the first thing you want to do, so this is the this is the bottom platform, this is the top platform, and this is the middle. So you're going to go two blocks under here, you're going to go like this, you're going to go around here, you're going to go two redstone, like that, and place a repeater on four ticks, and put two more like that and put the dust like that and then put around put more dust and lead this into a block the torch on the end put two more under here a dust three blocks up like this and around like that and what you want to do is you want to put two blocks up come around here place a sticky piston right there sorry right there and then two redstone dust along there and then what you want to do from there you want to have a pressure plate there two blocks a furnace and a furnace on the other side it's up to you whether you use furnace or obsidian but a furnace is more efficient and can't be dragged by slime blocks speaking of slime blocks let's just put one there and then on the next layer what you want to do is you want to build up your wall a little bit along here I'm not gonna we're just gonna build up one layer for now and then along the side, you're going to put a sticky piston, get out our slab, put it right there, like that. Then, furnace there, furnace there, if I actually can grip on there, that is. Another one there, this is one that un is unnecessary. Then what you want to do, is you want to come around here, put two more blocks, like that, and then this is where the, the other um, piston part comes in, so you want to put a a piston uh, there another one there and then we'll go on to the next bit after that you want to put a the final line of blocks along here put a quartz block in here of course I forgot to do it earlier <laughs> and then put a sticky piston by holding shift on that after that you can put a glass block here once again the glass blocks are not necessary it's just to actually it's just to make sure players can't jump out. After that, you want to add a block right uh, there, a du some dust there, and we'll go on to the next bit. Then you put a dust there, a repeater on two ticks. I think I might, that might not be correct. I'll have to check that in a minute. And then put a sticky piston right there, and another one there, and another one there. After that, you want to put a two blocks here, and then two redstone like that. Some things should be going on. You can see the door is closed. We've just got to put two blocks here. And you can see, if we walk over it, they both open like a secret door. I also forgot to mention you have to adjust the timing on these guys. So this one has to be three ticks, and this one has to be two. This is four. So this is actually going to be four as well. And that should work now. So if we go, so if you walk straight ahead, it'll actually open up and close it after us. So we'll just do this to make it a little bit more fancy, and we'll give it a final test run to make sure it works fine. Like that, and voila! And all we have to do is just is just walk forward, and it launches, and and it launches us up. So that's pretty cool. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later. If you have any problems with this design, just um, send me in the comments, because this is a tutorial is pretty rough. It's just a, it's just a thing to just, it's a, I tried to fill around with some of the editing, and if this, if you have any problems with this, just talk, just like, just give me a nudge on, on the comments, and I'll fix, I'll tell you what could be the problem. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later.